What's up all, it's Carlos again. So today's project is to mount this axle to this trailer. So what I've done here is I got a new axle, 3,500 pound axle, some brake drums and some wheel adapters to run these Jeep wheels. So because it's 3,500 pounds, it's gonna have tougher spindles than the ones that are on there. And also that allows me to run the brakes. With this much more rotating mass, the brakes are gonna be worthwhile. Right now the trailer project has this torsion axle and while it's great for ride and comfort, it doesn't leave me a lot of adjustability. It's got small spindles and I can't go in or out with it. I can't change the size. That new axle I got is actually going to be too wide for this trailer. So I'm going to cut that down and weld it with some DOM tubing to get it a bit smaller. So step one is to cut the welds here and underneath and get this out of the way. And then I could start working from there. All right, so I got the axle off now. That took a little bit of doing, but it wasn't too bad. Had to get used to the high lift. The high lift hasn't been greased in forever and it's probably about as old as me. So it was kind of getting stuck on reverse. I started to grind the weld on these plates, but they're not going to be in my way right now. So uh, grinding, it's kind of a pain in the ass. I'll hack them off when I go to my dad's house to use his welder. He's got a better welder. He's got a 240 volt welder with uh, gas right now. Today, I'm just going to use a flux core. He also has a plasma cutter, so I'll just plasma these off. Honestly, I'll leave all of this, cut off this, and it'll add structural integrity anyway, so I'm not worried about it. So the next step is to start working on getting these hangers hung and get this spring mounted up and then get that axle mounted. All right, so here's where I'm at. Can't really weld with the welder that I have right now. So my welds kind of look like this. They're sloppy, they're not penetrating at all. What's going on is I have a MIG welder that can also do flux core, but I don't have the right tip for flux core. So I'm running MIG wire without any gas and it's definitely not penetrating enough to be safe right now. So I thought it'd be a, shot, a decent shot just to tack it on, but I can't even bolt the thing up as it is. So also, I decided not to wait for the plasma cutter because this was going to be in my way when I went to go put the axle on. The axle does go over the spring. So as you can kind of see on that side, the axle would push right up into that plate. So took out the grinder and hacked that thing off. But for right now, I'm kind of stuck. So it's going to be a trip to Home Depot and uh, take it from there. All right, so mounting those springs was a lot harder than it was supposed to be. Not mounting the springs themselves, but trying to weld it. So this is the best I got. They're kind of ugly welds, but they finally penetrated. This is my first time using a flux core welder. The wire that was in yesterday was older wire and it had some rust on it, like just a little bit of surface rust. You could hardly see, but it wasn't welding properly. So today I went out, got some new wire and uh, they're solid. They're solid as rock. They'll get me where I'm going and then, like I said, once I get to my dad's house, I'll be able to use his welder and lay some better welds. So for right now, these will do the job. So I can finally move on to my next portion of the build, which is the axle. I marked out the axle, so here is dead center in the axle. The springs are sitting 60 inches on center and this axle is 70 inches on center. So I'm going to go ahead and cut 10 inches out of this thing. I also have some DOM tubing that is the same inside diameter as this is outside diameter. That's it, time to get cutting and get this axle mounted. Thank you. 
right, the sun's going down, but I got something done. So the tires are installed now. We have just enough space here that I don't have to worry about it rubbing the frame. I got a few welds on this DOM tubing. So there's only a few two there's only a few welds on it. I'm going to put some straight edges on the tires, kind of align the thing and then crank on this if I have to and then finish welding it at my dad's house. I didn't have a ground I didn't have anywhere to actually hook my ground to, so kind of just welded this piece of scrap metal onto the bare steel here. I had to do a lot of grinding to get this to fit properly inside the DOM tubing, but it fit like a glove when I was done. So I had to cut a little bit more of the frame than I had hoped. I thought it would be higher up on the tire, but that's not a problem. I'll probably end up cutting this later on. So I'll probably cut that at an angle. I know I'm going to do steel directly back because, I mean, you can see this is flimsy. There's nothing holding it anymore. So also I did start cutting the axle with this saw, but I don't know why this blade might just be a little shot, but it was taking forever to cut through. It was hardly doing anything. So I had better luck with the grinder. Because I left a little bit of play between the axles, I didn't cut it directly to size. I cut about a quarter inch more. There was enough room that if I was slightly off with my angle on the grinder, it wasn't really going to matter inside the DOM tubing. So I know I'm definitely going to have to do something with this. I don't know, maybe I'll just mount it a little bit lower, but uh, yeah, the jack's a little too low for it now. It's cranked all the way up and it's pitching forward pretty well. So the frame height now is about 24 inches off the ground. That's exactly what I was going for, about two feet. The Jeep is 72, so that gives me about 48 inches to go up with it. Figure half inch ply on the roof, some insulation, so cut off, I mean, altogether probably another two, two and a half inches. And that gives me 46 inches of headroom. So I wanted about 40, that's perfect. Also here are the pieces of steel that I'm gonna be using for the framing. They're 24 footers, and they are one inch by two inch. They are eighth inch thick, so they're a little bit thicker than the trailer frame in most places. But because I wanna use roof racks on this, this will help give me the structural support to do that. All right, so as much as I was really hoping I can get to framing this weekend, that's probably not gonna happen. We're getting a big snowstorm tomorrow. But uh, at least I got something done, so yeah, it looks sick. And it looks like I can go wheeling, so that's what I'm looking for. Hopefully next weekend I'll start getting the framing done and then uh, give everything a good coat of paint and start doing the lumber. That's it. Until next time.